While Kid Buu has always been a demon of Dragon Ball fighters, his rounder form is a bit less popular. Majin Buu is one of those characters like Nappa who historically attracts tech gods for his reset potential, but is rarely seen in competitive play. However, with Season 3 came some new life for Majin Buu, and the longtime players have been thriving ever since. Today's guest is Pumper Jam, one of the best to ever do it with the Big Pink Gumball. Pumper Jam is one of the most prominent competitive Fat Buu players there is, and today he shares the secret sauce. What is up y'all, KRC Pinto here. Today, I'm hanging out with Pumper Jam, one of the Majin Buu masters of America. Pumper Jam, how you doing today, man? I'm doing well, man, thanks for having me. Dude, stoked to have you. You're a long requested guest. People love your Majin Buu, they wanna know how you do the stuff you do. So today we're gonna dig into it a little bit. You ready to get started? Yes, sir. Perfect, let's do it. All right, man, so first and foremost, we keep it easy. What's your favorite move of Majin Buu's and why? Uh, my favorite move, if I had to have just one. Ah, do I have to have one? <laughs> can I have if two? If you got two, I can allow it for sure. Okay, okay. Uh, well, the first one in no order of importance is that move right there. Um, it's kind of busted. Uh, especially with certain assists. Um, so it allows me to begin Nooch at any point if you block it, etc. Uh, it's a good Nooch, uh, it's, a, it's a good button for Nooch. Uh, it catches people sleeping because in Nooch, people are just so occupied to uh, stand block and then crouch block. So if we're just moving around, this will clip you if you're not ready um so that's definitely uh my favorite move and it's definitely why uh, i picked majin Buu, uh when playing this game the second one is probably the most ignorant move there is uh in this game and that is ex cartwheel uh, um so in on the air it's six frames uh which will be any air normal as long as there's no hitbox Hurt box interactions like piccolo jab for whatever reason um, because that's a sore normal but <clears throat> because it's six frames and it's a special it's going to beat uh most air normals after a super dash situation uh because when you super dash in the air um you are zero so zero and then six oops like that's cheap and then um, with certain assist, it allows you to mix after. So it's a free 50-50 and yeah, cheap, 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 cheap. Do you get a, when he does this little bounce back in after he does the cartwheel, can you get an air normal out of that? Yes. Um, so a little fun fact, uh, and this is a, uh, this works with talls and mids, not on short characters, but when you do EX cartwheel, um, I didn't do any air dashes. It air dashes automatically back to where you cartwheel from. So the tech is uh, because you automatically go back, you can do a triple overhead. And it works on highs and mids, so from Bardock to up, uh, and so you get a free, free overhead, uh, a three, a triple overhead. Excuse me. So yeah, and then the fifty-fifty is you know, air dash high, uh, land to L. So that's, yes, that's insane. Oh my god. What's even more insane is you get, uh, and this is like we can touch back on this later, but. Um, you can get a f four overheads because uh, cartwheel. I mean, a uh, butt slam is an overhead, so you know you can just be full quadruple overhead, 
and that's 19 frames so you're not reacting to that so it's like good luck fuzzy guarding the triple overhead and if you just so happen to block the fuzzy i mean the the triple overhead you just sneak in the uh but play him into 19 frames. So that's kind of like T and TK chop. So. Okay, totally understand why that's your favorite move. Makes total sense. <laughs> what uh, what do you think is his best assist? I know you're running C assist right now, correct? I'm running his C assist. Um, so it's tough to say which one is his best, arguably. Um. I think his C assist is his best, and that's because it's a tracking, um, it's a tracking C assist that tracks full screen. So it'll track you in the ground, and it'll track you in the air. Um, so do -do -do, play, and then if I do that, like you're getting you're getting tracked. It's not as strong as Baby B's tracking. Um, in the sense that, um, it's not better than Baby B's tracking, and if you block it in the air, you still are able to do something out of it at a block, but I think it's super important that you have, uh, air tracking DP-like assist. So, if you're doing anything in the air, uh, GG's. Oh, maybe a little faster. You know, you got you just got clipped there. <clears throat> That'll get him. But you think yep. the uh, the A and the B are both situationally viable as well? Um. Yeah. 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 So back to C assist. Um. So the reason why I like C assist the most out of all of them is not just the the neutral aspect of it. Um. But it is out of the three the highest block stun assist that he has. So. It's 25 on block, um, which it, that's my sweet spot that I like because it allows me to do certain super dash mixes. Um, you could get away with 20, 20 and up, like his A assist. Uh, so I think his second best or his the next assist that may be better than C assist is his A assist. Um, as far as nooch goes, it hits like mid screen. Um, it's 20 frames far, and then 20. Oh, it's 20 period. It's always going to be 20. Uh, it kind of catches air if they if they're in the air a little bit. So that's also good. It pops up on hit, um, and yeah, the only reason why I don't use it. Um, is because um, I like playing full screen, and that's not really useful for me. Um, if I'm playing full screen, then this assist is being used defensively to stop your approach. Where you know I have this assist to do the same thing. So you could have both assists to do the same thing, but I like being able to call or excuse me, be full screen, call one assist, and then mix with the other. So there's that. And I really like C assist with gold tanks uh, because it allows me to do more damage, etc. cetera. Um, so A assist is definitely a strong contender. Uh, and especially with your character, uh, like Android 18 loves pop-up assist. So, you know, the world is your oyster in terms of that assist. The second, the last assist, which I think is his least uh favorite is a b assist this one is a little bit better in nooch but it's only applicable in this situation where it's full screen uh, um it is a little slow on the, you know 62 frames that's a whole second like you have a whole second to react but if you're a gimmicky player and you like to do weird things like you know like that like that still works but the problem is as he saw it's 18 frames on block uh that's for gold tanks that's not that's not good at all but if you have someone like android 16 or ui goku uh where you can get tick throw schmix off your auto combo then that's great for you um 
Um, and then on hit, if you land the hit, um, you get this weird situation where they are in a fat toe, but it doesn't stand reset, which is lame. But, oh, it does, excuse me, it does, uh, depending on your route. Um, so it's good for combos, and then certain characters are able to do like jab, jab, medium, and then do some sort of weird schmix sh out of it. But um, at that point, it's like you can just mix on block, anyways. Right. So, what do you think is his best team position in season three point five? Like where we're at right now? Because I know some people run a point. You run a mid. You go tanks on point, if I'm not mistaken. So, how do you feel yep. about his team positioning at the moment? Um, so I've been playing him on point uh, um, for the majority of my time playing with him, um, and the reason being is, especially in season three point uh, three point oh or three point five, um, he can hang with the top tiers as far as being uh, a point uh because he has multi-hitting key blast uh he kind of has a jank vegeta uh air uh, excuse me uh ssj vegeta key blast um he also has an es cartwheel if you're clean froggy and you want to super dash it uh so he has that so he has it he has the air dp he has this he has that um he has the air h so he's he's definitely viable on point um however he loves meter uh like it's no one else's business and the problem is that if you land a hit um you are spending meter unless you get the corner uh let's do this so you have to hello you have to optimize his routes for him to be effective uh, um, to get this position here. Um, so look how I built a bar doing this combo, but I lost half of it uh, to get this situation where from here, I probably paused it so it's gonna screw up. But if I am a god, nope. Uh, that would've been an air dragon rush into corner. So I only have 0.5 bar left. Uh, which would allow me a 50-50, but I'm going to be in meter deficit, so I won't be able to two-touch when he's point, unless I have ridiculous amount of bars. So, I believe his best position is mid, uh, um, because once your point character dies, you should be able to have at least two, three bars with Mindyabu coming in as your mid now point. And so, I believe, and this is why I have him on mid, um, you know, Gotenks can just land and build two bars, and then if he dies, then the two bars that I had will not be given to Majin Buu, and then now that Majin Buu has two bars, you know, I can do the shenanigans of, whoop, you know, my Super Dash EX shenanigans, you know, so... I believe he is best mid. All right, so let's talk about Boo and neutral. We've already touched on a couple of his tools that are pretty strong. We talked about his key blast a little bit. We talked about his JH, but let's just break down your game plan. When the game starts and you have to close the gap, how do you do it? Uh, cool. Um, so I hope when you have Majin Boo, uh, you have some sort of bars. Um, so if I look at my screen right now, I have two bars. That means I have four EX moves to play with. Um, so how I approach Nooch, uh, uh, again, I go full screen, engage what my opponent is doing. If they are constantly up backing and, you know, buffering, and by buffering, I mean doing the good old super dash, you know, uh, Majin Buu has this move right here. So I'm just... Pushing you to the corner as close as possible. Uh, I'm waiting for the super dash. Uh, I'm trying to catch you with one of these. Or I'm doing the whole faithful um, E-blast zoning. Um, 
when I see that you are conditioned to not doing anything, I just legit like a maniac dash all the way in and then press this little button called 5L. Uh, the moment I do 5L, uh, you're now in mix slash pressure territory. So because I have an assist that allows me to 50-50, um, this would allow me to mix off 5L, L, or whatever string into 2M, 50-50. Um, you're eating a mix. So my game plan in which is, you know, uh, try to create that situation. And if I cannot wait for the opportunity to do said situation and I can play the waiting game or the setup game because I have the tools to allow me to do so. I have a question about JH. I'm noticing this and awkwardly for the first time ever. I've never noticed this before that you are making the hand go either higher or lower. Is that a manual, is that an input thing or is it based on the height you're doing it at? The height that you're doing it. So, um, it, it, it always gonna hit the same length. Um, but depending on where I hit it, it depends on where it hits you and how, how much plus it is. So the lower it is, it's like a dive kick. The lower it hits you, uh, the more plus it is. And then the higher it is, the less plus it is but it, again it's just it's just setting up a scenario where i do air h and i call an assist into being able to dash up 5l so if i set the dummy to reflect which is what a lot of people will do in nooch uh what i'll do is hello maybe a little lower like that's gonna all jail um so mix, if I had the bar, of course. So yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna be conscious of where the H hit you, but for the most part, like I'm in. See how fast I am? Like, excuse me, I think all my nutrients, but the, this is a, a mix scenario. So uh, there's that. And then again, if they're up backing, like this is a good mood. And if, and if this is like tricky for you, you still got this move that kind of does the same thing. So for y'all, uh, base Jita Piccolo, uh, teams, uh, this will also, this will clip if you're lucky, not lucky, but if, if you're precise, this will clip both Orbuses and, uh, base Jita js like this will clip all three it sounds like a pretty patient neutral plan until you have decided it's safe to do something is that kind of kind of the gist yep but you can also like wild out uh, you you know because you you have access to this uh well you have access to that but then you also have this 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 is here zero on block there it is. <laughs> uh, the game plan is you can just bust out this move. Uh, at worst, you're negative two, but at best, you are zero. Let's get it. Yeah. There it is. And then because you're zero, uh, this allows class situations. So. He, he can bust out in nooch. And again, remember, he, he has Super Dash, he has Cartwheel. Um, or, yeah, it's not like perf uh, it's not like Cell where he can just throw it out in nooch. But um, you can willy nilly Super Dash, he has Cartwheel, or willy nilly just do that move. Fair enough. Okay. Anything else in his neutral that we should talk about? Um, yes, um, something that I don't apply too often, but it's definitely slept on as Majin Buu, uh, players should look into, uh, it's this scenario here, instead of 2 h so if I do Key Blast and he super dashes, yada, 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 
do one of these suckers. I've already spent five bar, uh, point five, and then probably do that, right? That's four point three. Okay, uh, for just point five, not bad, but he can do way more. Excuse me. If he punishes super dashes with the cartwheel. Granted, I spent two bar. I uh, spent a whole bar. Some difference. Still, yeah, that's twelve k more damage, or not twelve? Yeah, hundred. <laughs> uh, yeah, twelve hundred. Yep, a whole twelve hundred more. Uh, and that's still not using my other assist. So, uh, huge difference. And then the same thing can be done in the air. So if I just do this right. You know, it's the same thing. Like, this is a lot of damage. Yeah. So he he's able to do the SSJ uh, air key blast situation. If he super dash at him, he has that on lock. So you're spending a whole bar, but you're also touching half their life away. So, uh, yeah, I think I think that may cover. Mostly. Oh, wait. The biggest thing is Fat Toss. <laughs> I forgot Fat Toss. Um, a lot of times when you're playing neutral from full screen, you throw a couple of key blasts. That's going to clip the Super Dash. So the game plan varies against opponents. Opponents like to Super Dash on the first key blast, maybe on the third key blast. You're going to have to get a feel, but definitely uh feel comfortable and have a strong we read that weed excuse me uh have a strong read on throwing fat toss in nooch uh because if they get cut if they get hit by it you can definitely uh punish them hard for it today i learned just do not super dash at Majin Buu no matter what all right so let's assume you won neutral and now you get to Apply your pressure, do some mix-ups. You're in their face, they're blocking. What are you doing to make them sweat and open them up? We talked about the cartwheel mix earlier. I don't know if you want to elaborate on that a little more. I feel like we did pretty in-depth there, but feel free. But anything else you would do when they're blocking to just, you know, trip them up? Uh, sure. So we can do it in two ways. Um, so let's say I land a hit. Uh, for all uh, enthusiasts that want to pick up Majin Buu, I definitely encourage you to learn the rejumps uh, to always corner carry. Uh, Majibu has no business doing anything mid screen or leaving you in a mid screen position. Here's why, right? So when you are in the corner and you do a butt slam uh, to not come down. Uh, Majin Buu negates Oki um, with Fat Toss. So this covers like a good portion of people's wake up uh, options. I'm not going to get into the details of how much it covers. It all depends on uh, how much you want to delay it. But for the most part, just doing a butt slam into Fat Toss, it's going to cover a lot. Um, and so just think of it as an assist uh, where they have to respect it. So um, with that said, right, so ideally, uh, much like Gotenks and Goki, you want to you, you can use your assist to set up Goki, just like you can use your assist to corner carry uh, to do butt slam, because what happens is uh, I'm going to show you here. I get my assist back. Once I, I'm just going to do this here. Hello, I suck. Moment I throw fat toss, I get my sis regen back. So that's very important because um, I cover your wake up. I get my assist back, and by the time you block, I can get my free mix. 
Um, if you're feeling like, ah, oh, I'm just going to delay the heck out of my wake up so that I don't have to deal with reflect, I mean the fat toss, then you can do things like throw your fat toss a whiff because they're delaying their wake up. Um, but then you can still play with their timing because you're still plus technically. Um, and you can do something like IED back H where that's going to hit meaty and don't fret while you're over here, depending on your assist. I low 50, 50, um, if they block the 50, 50, let's say you go low and they block it, then your turn ends there kind of. Unless you do another 50-50 with super dash assist with your other assist, because again, you assist regen your assist. Um, he also has this 50-50 gear. The... That's 19 frames. There's a gap, of course. Uh, but again, this is the same situation as Tien TK Chop where that's 19 frames you're not reacting to that um if y'all think base goku like command grab that is 20 frames it's hard to react then one less frame it's going to be just as hard uh there is an rps um so if you do iml um light butt slam it will lose to to h however just frame trap them. So, you know, what's better? Uh, mixing with uh, un uh, unreactable uh, cartwheel or landing a 2M? You know, you're going to open them somehow, some way. Um, then we go back to the cartwheel situation where 50-50 uh, off. You can get a 50-50 doing air dash high, 50-50 doing 2L. 50-50 uh, off doing triple overhead into over, uh, triple overhead into unreactable quadruple overhead corner wise so these are all things that will open someone up corner wise uh, um, another situation that Majin Buu is gifted with is solo mix um, so uh, contrary to popular belief um, he has uh, like a Team Gohan-esque cross-up, uh, which is just cross-up EA's cartwheel. Uh, you can see it's six frames, so uh, jump is four frames, air dash is six, ten plus six plus whatever variable. It's at least another 19 frame cross-up. You're not reacting to that. Uh, that's the cross-up, and then just do same side. Uh, same side cartwheel uh, with air M. You can also do it with EX cartwheel. Um, but yeah, he has solo mix. Obviously, there's a gap, and obviously, you will lose to a 2H if they see it coming. But the goodness of Majin Buu is say you set it up doing. Um, this situation here, like 4L. You you dash all the way up, and then boom. Excuse me. Right, you do that. That's how you set it up. That's how you want to do it, right? But then they have a read on you, right? Let's do this. And then you go boop, boop, hello. And then you get smoked, right? Check this out. If I know that you know that you're going to call me out on it, then I can do... Um, and then go in and punish you for it. I can just fake the cross up uh, IED back H into conversion with an assist or EX butt slam. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, that that is as far as mixing on block. Mixing on hit. This is a whole different school of Majin Buu, and this is where most of Majin Buu players are, are playing Majin Buu. And what I mean by that is the fat toss situation. So he has 
more mix. Um, and so we have to divide when we're talking about fat toss mix. Uh, is it with low hit stun or high hit stun? Um, so with low hit stun, yeah, so I'm going to do a low hit stun combo. And then I'm going to go for... Um, I'm going to I'm going to anticipate that he's going to mash jab or he's going to jump out of it. So what will happen is he loses to 2M always and then he ate a 2M so he's going to get bopped. So that's him mashing jab. We'll do it again with if he wants to jump out. See, three hit again, two M, key blast, five H. Those are the three hits. So is he resetting uh, after you do the auto combo hits? Yeah, uh, I'm resetting on the last, the second hit of five L L. Okay, that's the reset. Um, and then right, let's say he is doing what? He's doing nothing. Right, he's just down backing. The mix is. Um, then you do tick throw. Hello. And then you do your super dash, yada, yada, yada. Although I'm going to net you like 3k, but hey, 3k is going to Put you in the corner where again you throw your fat toss and your rinse repeat what we covered a few minutes ago uh, so that's opening your character up on low hit stun um so and that's the fat toss mix it's not going to work on high hit stun uh because on high hit stun unfortunately you're going to get bopped by the mashing i'll show that here so, as a Majin Buu master, I'm showing you guys how to counter Majin Buu. So here I'm going to go for the 2M situation. There you go. Thank you. Fifth time. But as you can see, if you try to do the tick throw mix, uh, or the tick throw 2M mix on high hit stun, you're gonna get bopped. Um, however, because I know, or because the Majin Buu player knows that it's not a mix anymore because it's high hit stun, a way to counter the mash is instead of going for the mix, you reset with Air M. And what's gonna happen with Air M is you're going to now be in a, uh, you know, let's say you mash. But because I'm in the air, the jab is not going to hit me. So now you're being punished for... Uh, well, Cell is tall enough, so whoop de doo But as you saw um, in that situation, let's, let's go <laughs> good old Janemba with the worst 5 on the game. Uh, in theory, this is going to get bopped. So, high hit stun. Hello, my input just died. My goodness. Martin Boot, you fuck up one more combo. <laughs> You're going. <laughs> You're getting benched. It's probably because they're tall. I have like tall characters, so they're hitting me out of the situation. But um, often you can go for the IML situation, and they'll you'll beat them for mashing. Um, right now I'm trading, so you're either gonna get you're either gonna trade or clash. And then if you're clashing, uh, we go back to the whole. Um, he has cartwheel situation because it's six frames. You're gonna lose. You're gonna beat. You're gonna win that situation. 
Um, so I'll just kind of just end it there. Uh, um, I guess the reason why I'm not beating them is because I'm going super uh, high sun. Where I think if I just do this short combo, even though it's still long, uh, I'm just still getting, I'm still trading. So uh, it could just be tall characters are just hitbox, hurtbox interactions. Um, but the last thing that I consider doing for opening up uh, my opponents is clash situations. Um, everyone loves Bardox clash because uh, he has a six six eight with M Javelin, but uh, we're gonna lab it either way. Um, so in class situations, uh, let me look. So let's do, uh, five out, five out, if this worked. All right, cool. So that's the, the, yeah, that's nine frames. Uh, that's like the ideal class situation. So Majin Buu has ES cart ES bus line that's seven frames, ES cartwheel that's eight frames. So what you'll do is you 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 win that situation. Um and they just have to hold that. Or you can do if I do EX Cartwheel, it'll lose to M Javelin. Mardock, relax. Oh, I guess I'll do a trade situation. That's weird. Um, but yeah, those are the those are the three ways that I would open people up. 50-50 uh, on block, either with ES Cartwheel or solo 50-50 on block with cross up same side ES Cartwheel. Uh, fat toss situations where um, if they're respecting that is high stun and they're not going to mash, I'll sneak in the whole um jml to reset the jm will reset and then i'm going to do the 19 frame unreactable butt slam into an assist to convert yada 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 uh if it's low hit stun obviously do the tick throw to a mix and then um if all that fails then do a class situation okay so normally here i would ask about oki we have touched on oki a little bit is there anything you want to like elaborate on or something we haven't talked about for Majin Buu's Oki that you think we should go over? Um, yes, I think I, I left, left this part out. Uh, but since you, when you're using your assist to do a situation like this and then you fat toss, you get your assist back. Uh, if you have an assist available and it's at least 30 frames higher, you get a 50-50. Um, so you just do this and then high, um, call it back to us, low. So free little 50-50 in that situation. Uh, um, but that's if they do not reflect the fat toss uh fat toss um block is about 18 frames i think oh hi my lord 18 frames on block uh, um so then you add that to how many plus frames your assist is uh, um, into high low so um always do your fat toss um after a butt slam uh, if you notice i'm doing dragon rush into butt slam uh if you do air h then it then your uh fat toss does not have the same plus frames um so if you're playing majin buu try to always butt slam in the corner um in the likelihood that you do an air dragon rush well what i wanted to cover is air dragon rush 
uh, doesn't cover the same amount of frames that Butt Slam uh, Fat Toss covers. So um, when you do an Air Dragon Rush, uh, you have to do a Dash Fat Toss to cover the frames um, when they delay it. So that was about it as far as okay um, i'm sorry to interrupt man Did you have nope a... no worries okay so you were doing something when we played that you haven't touched on yet and uh, this tripped me up a ton and it might just be an inexperienced thing but uh you every time you knocked me down in the corner you kind of played back and went for a jh on my wake up like a super low one is that something that you do often or was that just something you were doing against me uh that's something that i do uh on anyone that does not take the fat throw uh so if we do delay stand uh we do 30 frames uh okay cool what happens is little fat toss you whiff it right or a whiff excuse me so you avoided the fat toss right well i'm still plus enough where uh then i'll do the id back h gotcha see so it's like you're checking and... down oki if the first one is with yep yep if i saw that the fat toss whiffed then it's then then i have to either uh do like a dash up 2m anti-reflex string or safer route ID back H, and then because I am, if you see, I'm plus fourteen uh, with an assist. I'm plus thirty five, so you know, try to moon jump or I mean super jump back in. If your assist is higher than thirty, you uh, or excuse me, if your assist is higher than forty frames, then you get the the high low situation. Let's talk about when the shoe's on the other foot. Majin Buu, we've talked about some pretty oppressive offensive tactics. What happens when he's blocking? Does he have any strong tools for dealing with attackers? Does he have anything he can do on defense that other characters can't? Does he take advantage of system mechanics in any way? What do you do when you have to defend? Um, He does not have a reversal on the ground, but uh, this is a frame for uh, frame one air dp so in a situation where the bardock is doing something like that um you can you can 2h or you can um all right, all right i was just doing it way too early but yeah he he has that you know if they're feeling froggy with with air moves uh you have an answer um but on defense he kind of just has to like block he, he doesn't have a dp he doesn't have a frame four on the ground so you just you just really block um he can like this is a okay 5l call out because it hits it hits high and it has some range but an anti majin Buu thing is uh if you're a, a, a short character like this is gonna whiff the five l is gonna whiff so you want to be careful with busting out he doesn't really have strong normals to kind of like uh contest or push out so in the likelihood that you are able to um you don't have your assist and you kind of want to just get out uh m cartwheel kind of does kind of help you there like see how far you got from that situation not good not bad uh you do get your air normals out of it so but it's like if you're blocking you're blocking you're not going to be able to mash that out right um same goes with art wheel uh you can just kind of back out uh you can steal your turns because you can air ace out of it um but yeah uh, as far as when he's on the block or on when he's uh defensive on the defense excuse me he's he's like most of the cast without a dp frame for 
frame four. I uh, yeah. Majin Buu um, is a jack of all trades, master of none. Uh, and he's like a Swiss army knife where he has a lot of the tools that top tiers have. Um, but that could also be his weakness slash downfall because then you are hyper focused on all the things that he can do and then not knowing when he can do it. So if anyone is picking up Majin Buu, I highly encourage to really keep, keep it simple. Uh, don't try to do too much and don't just pick up this character because he can put you in a fat top situation and uh, mix you with that. I, I think I think you should just really keep it simple. Really keep it, you know, if you have, if you're going for a mix, that is your go-to mix. Don't overcomplicate it more than that. And then, uh, yeah, just, just play to his strength, not to his random uh, strength, if that makes sense. Yeah. Pumper Jam, if someone came to you today and said, hey, man, thinking about picking up Majin Buu, but I'm not sure about it. What are you saying to them to push them over the fence? Why should someone play this character in season 3.5 Dragon Ball Fighters? Um, great question. Thank you. Um, I think if you're if you're on the fence, uh, um, as to why you should pick up, or you're on the uh, a verge of picking them up, but you don't want to try too hard. I think I think he is not a character that is getting any or much uh, representation. And I believe he is fully capable of being able to hang with the top tiers. Um, a lot of talk and the narrative for the most part for season one and two that he was trash. And then somewhere, somewhere down the road in season point three, everyone started raising him up um, to, the, to the top of the uh, tiers. Um, but... A lot of people just don't know all the ins and out. So if you want to be that person uh, and, and you know be in the Mount Rushmore of Majin Buu's, you know the the door is right there. Uh, um, he, this character has mix. This character has nooch. Um, besides those two things, and those are the reasons why he is top tier. There's a fear factor of yo. I don't know what to do against Majin Buu. Um, I have had and I've had scra uh, scrapped many W's from people that just do not know what to do against this character or underestimate the capability that this character has. This move right here is going to smoke a lot of people because uh, they're not anticipating being hit from way over here. Uh, no other character uh, well, base Jita, if he's doing his little dash uh, IED back S moves. But, you know, you're kind of seeing that against base Jita. You're not kind of seeing it against Majin Buu. Uh, another one, my favorite is... Uh, oh, I have bars? Let's go. Party time. You know, a lot of people love to press a button there. Um... So you, you'll 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 be able to land hits that you won't typically be able to uh, get uh, because he is such a special, unique character. And then I think, lastly, another reason why I think you should pick up this character is he hangs against top tiers. Um, you know, let's say this character that's jumping like a maniac right now. Um, if he does one of these things, you know, dash up, uh, whatever. That's a very common Bardock thing to do in Nooch. Um, we'll just do this. We'll activate that. No. Uh, we'll activate it with 21. Hello. Like, I have multi-key bus, so you're going to get smoked uh, in that situation. Uh, another one that's my favorite is Round Star Lariat, right? A lot of characters have Round Star Lariat. Bluku has it, um, Vegeta has it with his rocket kick, Bardock has it with his, um, 
Lariat, uh, a lot of characters have a fast uh, moving forward button, right? And they just love doing it round start. Well, guess what? He got smoked. So this is this is good. He got smoked. Um, <laughs> he's gonna get smoked. Uh, let's call UI. He got smoked. <laughs> so uh, you 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 have access to smoking your opponent before they smoke you. Uh, um, and let's say they don't do any of those Larry options and they do something like good old Super Dash. This also be Super Dash Ron Sharp. God, that so like this 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 is just beating this is beating a lot of a lot of things. Hello? Um, and then you're gonna like let's say you're in a tournament setting, you do this round start against someone, they're gonna be like, Oh man, I really wanna get that. They're not gonna know how to beat that, right? They're gonna start doing this. Dash up two H. You're safe. Against a lot of characters. <laughs> yeah, I, I think those are the main three reasons. If you want to make a name for yourself and represent a character that's highly underutilized, pick up Majin Buu. You, you'll have a character that will be able to hang with top tiers because he has all the tools to be able to do so. Um, the Majin Buu Discord community are super friendly, super helpful. Um, which I think every, as far as I know, every character Discord are like so. Uh, but there are Majin Buu players that have been playing Majin Buu since season one. So uh, as far as the Discords that I've been in, that's my favorite one. So shout outs to them. Um, but there's so much tech and so much... Um, uh, strategies and mix and uh, an abundance of information out there that uh you know you you won't be lost and then then there's me and then kelso and uh other names out there uh like aliun shout out to aliun that you can reference high level play and you can you know take a page from their books and go from there so Okay. All right, man. That's all I got for you today. Let's uh, let's plug your stuff. If people are looking for you to see some Majin Buu play, where can they find you? Twitter, Twitch, YouTube. What you got? Uh, everything is at Pumper Jam. So my Twitter, my Twitch, uh, and and pretty much every social media out there. It's simple at Pumper Jam. So at Pumper Jam, and you'll find me. Okay. Easy enough. All right, dude. We did it. Oh, bro. Thank you. Thank you.